welcome back. Our next guest is a writer and actress from the Bronx who thrives on telling stories that explore the concept of being comfortable with being uncomfortable. The world around her is diverse in color and thought and purpose and aims. Well, her work aims to reflect that. So currently she stars in the upcoming film, Playing Sam, that tells the story of the authentic experience of Latinx actors in New York City. Let's take a peek at Playing Sam. Question, um, yes. is it possible to maybe read for the detective role? I don't know if you guys have already cast that. Is, I don't know if that's appropriate, I'm sorry. No. Okay. No, okay. You're, you're definitely not the detective type. Okay. Plus, we need like your type to be the housekeeper, right? Yes. So if we have the detective and the housekeeper is the same type, it'll confuse the audience. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, of course. <laughs> sorry. But you're, you know, you did really well, and um, you definitely looked the part. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And bye, everyone in the room. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank Good you. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, she didn't have the right accent. Oh. That was a sneak peek of the film playing Sam that is set to show mainstream media that artists should be judged for their abilities, not ethnicity. Here to share more, we welcome back to Open, star of playing Sam, actress and writer Jenny Ruiz. Hello. Thank you for having me, Rena. It's such a pleasure. Likewise. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I can't believe that this is happening. It's, I feel like it's been years in the making and it's finally, it's finally upon us. <laughs> well, you know, um, so how long has this been, this film been in the making? Oh man. So I think we started conceptualizing in 2019. Um, and then we were set to film in 2020, the pandemic hit. Uh, and unfortunately I lost my dad in 2020. So we had to put things on hold, but then, uh, everyone, especially Ramon Pesante was very uh, patient with me. So we filmed here in my humble abode. <laughs> I'm sure you recognize some of the scenery, but yeah. <laughs> You're so s I know, I know. Uh, my, my condolences to you, sweetheart, because you mentioned it on air. And um, and I understand, like, we, we all got sucked into, like, this time bubble of a warp that kind of felt like we, we were uh, in a standstill. So it's nice yeah. to see you guys push forward because these stories need to be told. They sure do. You know, I mean, listen, I'm an actress. I've been working at this for, I think, over 10 years. I don't even count anymore because it's slightly embarrassing. But, you know, it, it's just it's a labor of love. And it's just, it's a story about an actress that is trying to find herself, not so much fit into this box that the entertainment industry tends to put us in. So I'm really happy that we're telling that story. Um, and, and really, you know, it's such a testament to Ramon. He's kind of watched me go through all I, I call myself callback queen because I feel like I'm almost, I'm almost there, I'm almost right there, and they don't get it. And so, you know, he's watched a lot of heartbreak over the years. Who, Ramon Pesante, who is the filmmaker, right? He's- That's correct, yeah. filmmaker, director, yes. Yes, yeah, 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 and so here's the thing. Uh, while you say I'm almost there, we, you know, I, we have to mention your current spot that airs on yeah. television with Smart Water. I mean, yeah. you know, that's a nice commercial and that's a nice gig you had there. For sure. I mean, listen, I didn't think in my wildest dreams I would be working with Zendaya and I got a chance to um, and it's it plays all over the place. People tell me I've only seen it once, but it's it's an exciting move. That's no, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. But it's also wonderful. Um, first of all, I like the person that you're uh, attached to in in your visibility. Right. Because she has her own statements as well that. Yeah. Right, but then here you are working on playing Sam, and I understand you guys are in post right now, right? We're in post. We are very close to releasing. Uh, it looks like it's going to be an, a late spring summer release. So, so this is going to be the year, and I'm sure you guys are going to sweep the festivals because just in what I saw, just in what I saw, I was like, oh yeah, we need this. We need this. This is way overdue. So let's share with our audience a little synopsis of of, uh, of what. I, I guess really drives the the story through so playing sam is really about a woman who is really trying to fit in and you know a lot of even in the clip that you just saw where we get kind of typecast as latinas to play like the maid role or the hypersexual siren or whatever it is and playing sam explores a woman who's trying to break that 
stereotypical uh, casting aside. And it's really close to my heart because it's something that I try to do in the roles that I choose, but also in the writing that I, I write. So it, it's really, I hope that people can watch this who are in acting and get inspired and feel like they can just be themselves because that's really what this movie is about. Yeah, and I love the way you cast it too, because I know you're playing alongside Mark Rain, and then that, the clip we saw had Elaine Del Valle, who is actually a casting director in real life. That's right, who I've auditioned for many times, so I'm making people push her to hire me. <laughs> hint, hint, <No>. Elaine. <laughs> 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 oh, but the, the point really is that there is this group of creatives that are really out to make a statement, and my, myself included, right, here in the television front, right, which is why you guys are here, because I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a story we need to share with our viewers, because this is the uphill battle that we continue to fight. <laughs> It is every single day. You know, I used to, when I first entered this industry, I really thought I had to be a specific person. I had to up an accent or, you know, I had to learn more Spanish and my parents did not teach me Spanish when I was growing up. So shame on them. But it's also, you know, this is who I am and I don't feel like I have to change myself, you know, to fit a specific role just because my last name is Ruisa. Like who cares? You know, I'm a person. I live a life just like everyone else does. And so I want to be able to pay portray characters that have a lot of oomph to them and, and that are like me, because there's a lot of people that are out there that are very similar to me, you know, and that can identify. Yeah, well, you know, the, even the character that you portray, I, it, she suits you so well. I, again, <laughs> I got to see more than that clip, Mijente, I'm sorry about that, but just in what I saw, you know, the, the spiritual aspect of it, the cultural aspect of it, there's like, there's so much that we're, we're going to be able to relate to um, as Latinos, as people of color, that it, I really, I want to see more of that on screen, I really do. I mean, listen, from your lips to the executive's ears, you know, I think I think we're headed in a really good path. And I think that playing Sam is really going to set the bar for a lot of, you know, independent films, but also big budget Hollywood films that kind of miss the mark sometimes when it comes to casting really robust Latina roles, Latino roles, Latinx roles, you know. And so I'm really excited to portray this. I really love the fact that, you know, she is, is a whole well-rounded person that was kind of trying to figure out like, should I, should I not? Who do I be? Who do I not be? And so I think by the end of this film, everyone will take a sigh of relief that she figured it out without giving away too much. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't get to see the whole thing. So yeah, you can't do that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but no. the idea is really to disrupt uh, the mindset, right? Of, of yeah. what we're already conditioned to ac accept and embrace as being the, the, uh, the, the selling products, right? Because that's really right. what it boils down to is what's gonna bring audience and what's gonna sell. You, it does. Look, we see it right now with Jenna Ortega and Wednesday and how that's been like the top stream show on Netflix. And so we can if she can do it, there's tons more out there like me that can go ahead and do the same thing. So I'm just I'm, you know, tap me in. I'm ready, coach. <laughs> <laughs> You've been top. That's why you're here. We're here pushing you forward. Thank you. Brava. <laughs> Brava, Jenny! Woo! <laughs> All right. Thank you for bringing it here. And again, you guys are going to have to wait until the spring and summer of 2023. However, that was once again Jenny Ruisa, star of upcoming film Playing Sam. It looks like it's going to be a hit. So um, on a personal note, I'm highly recommending that you keep your tabs on it and, and, and its development. So for more information on Playing Sam, you can visit PlayingSam.com. Com, and if, for more on Jenny, you can visit JennyRuisa.com. All right.